Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to do a little uh, unboxing. Uh, so I got these Prima, actually says Art Philosophy by Prima Marketing, Watercolor Confections, um, in the Complexion set. So this is the second box of these that I've gotten. I have the Pastel Dreams set as well and I'm going to make a video about those but I wanted to take a look at these. So they come in an adorable little tin and I totally did not buy these just for the tin. Absolutely not the case. Um, I saw this brand on a video by Miss Carrie J when she was going through her watercolor set and my main watercolor set is this palette. Um, I actually have a similar one for my gouache set. Um, the watercolors and then I have a teal one that I put my gouache in. So I thought these were adorable and I had to have them. So I bought two sets, like I said, this is the complexion set. Um, and it comes in a little palette like this. It comes with its own swatch card. And then this little tray in the middle lifts up. And yeah, little 12 little half fans in here. We have black, coconut, tiki, peach cobbler, Lemonade, Gold, Cavern, Bear, Redwood, Chant, Namaste, and Unite. So let's open them up. And there we have it. All there. Now this swatch card different than the one that came in the other package in that it is both numbered and named. Um, so that's nice. I think there is one duplicate between this palette and the one that I got. The, the Pastel Dreams one. That's the, the lemonade I think is duplicated but all the other ones should be new colors for me. I do appreciate that they have names and numbers. The Pastel Dream set that I got only has numbers and I prefer to call something black than 12. Okay, so let's uh, swatch it out. I realize that I say swatch. Weird. And here we have the finished swatch card. So black, coconut, tiki, peach, cobbler, lemonade, gold. The gold, I don't know if you can see it, but it is actually iridescent. It shimmers. And I really like shimmery things, so that one's fun. Uh, Unite, Namaste, Chant, Redwood, Bear, and Cavern. So they all activated pretty well. Um, they have a nice creamy consistency. Yeah, so far I like them a lot. Um, the one thing, uh, this swatch card is really not good quality and it seems silly because they went through all of the trouble of sending it and it is, you know, pretty, but the paper is not very thick um, and it doesn't take water very well and it buckles a lot. You can see it is very buckled. Um, I may or may not end up making a new one of these because I'm kind of a paper snob. Other than that, I'm really happy with these, uh, with these colors. Other than the black. I don't like black. I don't use black. If I need black, I use India ink usually. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty interesting palette. I am looking forward to see what I can create with this. Now I will apologize a little bit as we get into this. The lighting and the perspective is going to change a couple times. I did this painting in a couple different settings. The original unboxing part of the video was actually done on the 4th of July, so if you were wondering what all of those weird bangs and pops in the background were, that's what it was. It was fireworks. My neighbors were setting off fireworks, and, you know, it's New York City, so of course they were right outside my window. Uh, the rest of the painting I did over the following weekend, and it was in between doing stuff with my kids and my family, so that explains the, the changing light and positioning of the painting as I work on it. 
When I first set out to do this piece, I didn't intend on only using the colors from this palette. I wanted to try it out, play with it, review it, but I did intend on using the rest of my watercolors um, alongside these colors. Uh, I didn't actually think it was possible for me to create a painting with just what was included in this palette. It amounts to pretty much a bunch of browns, a few yellows, and a pink. Um, but as I started working on it, it became kind of a, an interesting challenge for me to see if I could do this. And so that's what I did. I actually did this entire painting with nothing except for what came in that little tin and using only those colors. Um, the piece is another piece of fan art for the fan art challenge that I'm trying to do in July. It spends most of its time looking like uh, Vigo from that Ghostbusters movie from when I was a kid. It is in fact not Ghostbusters fan art, but it is fan art. And hopefully by the end of this, maybe you'll be able to see who it is that I'm painting. Despite my original misgivings with the palette being too limited, I actually found it okay. Uh, the only thing that I was really missing from it was the addition of a cool color. So all of the browns are rather warm, um, and then you have yellows, but there wasn't really any blue or anything to make like a proper purple, I guess. So I did kind of miss that. Working with a limited palette is something that I wanted to explore more. Um, and you know, this palette was 12 different colors. So that's not even that limited. It is fewer colors than I normally have at my disposal, but I'd be interested to see how I do limiting it even further. The other thing that I did differently with this piece was the way that I approached it. So I've been watching a lot of videos from one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, her name is Arlisha. Uh, she goes by Arlie Bean on YouTube, I believe. I'll link her channel down below. She has some really amazing videos. And as I've been watching her, I took uh, a lot of the tips and tricks that she has and kind of applied them to this painting. So one of the big things was to block in your darks first so you have something to gauge your values, which is why I did the left side of the painting in the, that dark color first. I knew that was my shadow area and that was going to be my darkest value. The other thing that she talks about a lot is um, the way that you paint skin. So it's lots of very light layers which is not generally how I've approached skin in the past. And I think one of the reasons why I've been unhappy with the way that skin turns out for me, it definitely doesn't look as natural as I would want it to. And by doing it this way with a lot of very light layers, building up the colors and the values, it turned out so much better. This is actually one of, the, one of my favorite pieces that I've ever done, the end result made me very very happy and it feels like I can actually see progress in myself and, and progress in my art which is always a really good feeling. Even as I'm editing this video and recording the voiceover I can see as I'm painting a lot of risks that I took that I normally wouldn't take. Um, you know painting with bright contrasting colors in layers is something that I never would have done before. I have also can see that I'm a lot more uh, aware of water control and doing a, a much better job of blending out colors. Both of those areas are places where I've felt for a long time that I needed to improve and I just haven't been able to break through as it were. Um, I think I can, I can definitely chalk that up to watching a lot of um, Arlisha's videos and I would highly recommend that you check out her work. Uh, again, I'll link it below. As far as the paints themselves go, um, other than being a really good challenge for me and that it was a limited palette, um, and other than the fact that I really, really love the end result, I don't know that I would recommend the paints themselves. I found that um, the paints were a little bit grainy and not in a way that you think of watercolors being granulated, more in that they were like clumpy um, and almost as if the pigment wasn't mixed in well enough. Um, I also found them to be a little bit streaky, especially like the darker colors on the left hand side of the piece. It was hard to get a nice flat even color. That said, I was able to get a piece of artwork that I really love out of them. And they obviously do really well with blending and really well with layering. So 
When I say I don't know if I can recommend them, I definitely can't give them a glowing review. They're not as high quality as the Daniel Smith watercolors that I have or the Kuretake Gonze set that I have, but at the same time they're also not as expensive as Daniel Smith or my Gonze Tombai watercolors. So I think it really boils down to what you're looking for. I know for me when I was first getting started, blending a proper skin tone was nigh on impossible for me. Um, it took a lot of struggle and a lot of me feeling very unhappy about my work to get to where I could uh, blend a, a skin tone I was happy with. And having a set like this would have made that a lot easier, I think. Also, if you're just getting into watercolor and you don't want to put down a lot of money for a higher quality set, I don't think these are terrible. Um, I think it'll it takes a little bit more work than with a higher quality set, but you can still make good artwork with them. Now, the packaging didn't come with any pigment information on the paint, so I'm not sure what pigments they're made out of. It's also didn't come with any light fastness ratings, so I'm not sure about the light fastness of them. Um, I'm not sure that you would want to use these paints to make like an original piece of artwork that you want to sell, but if you're making prints or stickers or something like that, they're probably fine for that purpose. And that's probably as good a segue as I'm ever going to get to tell you that I have an Etsy shop and Prints of this piece, as well as prints of many of the other pieces that I've done, are available in my Etsy shop, and you should totally check that out. Um, I also have a Redbubble. This piece probably isn't going on Redbubble, but there's some other cool stuff there that you should check out. As for the subject of this piece, if you haven't already guessed or you can't tell, this is Arya Stark from Game of Thrones. And here's the final piece. I didn't film the untaping this time, even though I find that to be one of the most satisfying parts. But here she is, and I absolutely love her. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Give it a like, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I put out my next video. I post them every Thursday. Thank you, and have a great day.